Let's go to the phones first. FMU, you're FMU, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. This is Molly Molesworth. Molly Molesworth. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Can I just ask a question? Not trying to be insulting, Molly. Yeah. You're a lady. Yes. How old are you, Molly? Um. Like, um, around 18. You're around 18. So are you still in high school? Yeah, pretty much. Uh Uh-huh. A senior in high school? Yeah. What's new, Molly? Oh, I'm a babysitter. Okay. You're a babysitter? Yeah, I've had a lot of weird adventures. Really? Yeah, would you like to hear number one? I would like to hear adventure number one, Molly. Yes, okay. There was this, um... So, um... There is this, like, old... Oh, wait, no, it was pretty... It was like a newborn. It's not really old, but, um, I was babysitting it. I, yeah. I kind of... I found it to be like these crawling, crying Slopping creatures. The newborns. Yeah. Okay. I, they're like crawly a lot. They crawl around and bite ankles. Okay, so this newborn I, is crawling around the floor. Yeah, I call it an ankle biter. This newborn you call an ankle biter. Yes. Okay, so what? So what? What happened with you and this uh, newborn, Molly? Um, could you repeat that? What happened? Did, did anything exciting happen with you and this newborn? Any Anything to make it an oh, exciting oh, adventure? Yes, yes, very, very. Okay. Um, so, I had the baby, it was watching the show. Do you know how stupid it was? How stupid the baby was? It had a fireball baby head for the sun in it. What's that, what's that now? It had a baby head inside of a fireball for a sun, for that, the, like this sun. That's how dumb this show was. Yeah, yeah, but can I tell you something? Please. About the show? Okay. <clears throat> there were these baby, there were like these, basically, they were like baby apes, like baby dolls, but mm-hmm. apes, and... They had these colorful outfits on with these TVs on their stomachs, and they call it Tummy Vision. And guess what? What? They have shapes on their heads. Shapes on their heads. So it sounds like you're watching Teletubbies. Yeah, by the... uh, I wouldn't dare say that word, but by the... By that, I'm... Teletubbies... I saw the tele part in Teletubbies sort of went with telephones, so I thought they'd, like, be attached to telephones or something and be named Tubby. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And they... Here's my expression of them, like, um, my imitation of them, like, my prediction. Yes. I feel like they would say, Come on, Tubbies, to the Tubby Mobile. But okay. no, yeah, that's sort of like Batman and Robin. So, um, uh, I wouldn't really recommend that for a Teletubby thing. Okay, so this that's so you watched a newborn watch this program. Yes, yes, but then I kind of turned on Tom and Jerry because it's much more um, it's much more of something that you can actually see. Okay. Very yeah. fictional. Sure. It's like this cat and a mouse trying to, like, um, beat each other up. Like, you know how cats eat mice? Yes, yes. Well, exactly what I mean. It, like, um, <clears throat> the cat is named Tom and the um, mouse is named Jerry. And, um, the cat sort of always picks him up, bares his teeth at him, and tries to always eat him. Usually he always 
swallows him whole, and then usually he just can't do it. He just gets whammed in the face. So that's what happens on Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Now, what, has anything happened when you're actually babysitting, though? You're just talking oh. about television. Oh, yes, yes. The baby got sort of um, consumed by his eyes of watching it. So guess what he did? What? There was a nail gun, and it was kind of like... Here we go. There was like this nail gun. He picked it up. He's like laughing and smiling and a devilish smile. Yeah, guess, yeah. Yeah, um, guess what he did? The baby had the nail gun. Yeah. The baby was able to pick the nail gun up? He took the nail gun, and he, um... He shot my clothing down. He like um, I was there. Okay. He shot me to the wall, but I was not hurt. So the baby and pinned it, you to the wall with the nail gun. Yeah, it's like stapling a picture to the wall. Except it was you. Yeah. Really. Yeah, I got out and my clothing was all ripped. It looked like mice chewed into it. Mm-hmm. From the nail gun. And what did you do to the baby? Did you seek revenge? Uh, yes, yes. Very good, though. I, um, took his little, um, I took him out for a spin with, um, his, um, carriage, and, um, he, um, I, like, um, I, I, um, rolled him back and forth, and he was feeling kind of sick a mm -hmm, lot. Mm-hmm. So I gave him like this um baby ear medicine. I I didn't quite read it that good. I just thought it was regular old medicine cuz usually they ear medicine for babies is just for a baby's ear if it hurts like they're crying, you see something bad going on in their ear like an infection. Mm -hmm. You always want to put that medicine in, but if it doesn't work, mm -hmm. take it to the doctor, it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. Hospital doesn't work, mm -hmm. President. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> You're having a good time over there, huh? Yep. But, um, you know what's the weirdest thing what's about that, Molly? baby is? What's that, Molly? I, I, um, well, he got out. He got into the Apple store. It's not the Apple store where you go buy a Mac or an iPhone or something. Mm -hmm. An actual fruit Apple store. Okay, so this baby escaped and went and into a fruit store. Guess what he did? What? He took an apple. He threw it at the the guy with the pricing gun, the store manage the store manager or something. And guess what he did? I don't know what. That pricing gun guy, he got out his pricing gun, put a label on me, said I was only five dollars, no cents, and they took me. And guess what I did to that baby? What? I spanked it so hard till the cows came home. Although the cows did come home quite early, so he was very lucky. So the baby got off easy because the cows actually came home earlier than you might have thought. Oh, yeah. Did I mention I was on a farm? Sort of like a new farm with a high-definition TV. A new... Okay. It's actually a pretty mansion. It's a mansion-looking farm. It looks like a mansion because mm -hmm. it's so big. Mm -hmm. It's some accent you got there, Molly. But, yeah. You know what? What's that? That baby swore revenge so hard on me, though. You, well, okay. I did something pretty bad, actually. All right. What did you do? I took him for another spin on his carriage, and you know what I did with him? Oh, I don't like that. that. What? What did you do? Oh, I did this. I took an apple... And I fed it to him. Okay, well, that's not that bad. Well, um, he doesn't like apples. He usually can't eat anything green, so I fed him a green apple. So the, you fed the baby a green apple? 
He says he's allergic to stuff that's green. Okay. So, um... Is that Mike? No, go ahead, Molly. Okay, so... <clears throat> I fed him every single green vegetable there was, even, like... <sighs> I even fed him green apples with the sweet, juicy taste. And guess what? What? He was not kidding. He really was allergic to that stuff. And then what happened to him? Took him to the doctor. Doctor said it's revenge-itis. So the baby suffered from revenge-itis? Yeah, I swore a pretty big amount of revenge on him. It's not really an allergic reaction. Mm-hmm. It was revengeitis. You know what I did, though? What? I got a guard dog. I thought it would swallow him up, but you know what? What? Sounds like you and this baby don't get along. That The baby's so mean. He tried to hit me with a mallet so many times, but I got that dog. Yeah. And the puppy was so mean to me that he was a perfect trick. But guess what? What? It failed. The puppy was cute only to the baby. Only to the baby, but it hated you. Yeah, and do you know where I am right now? Where? The dog's stomach. Hold on a minute. You're calling from inside the dog's stomach. I have a pretty good signal. Yes, you do. Yeah. I got some good wire and setup in here. Some good wire and setup. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, Molly, I gotta say, I don't know what that grunt was. Not well, actually, I kind of made a house out of this dog because um, okay. I like took a bunch of like, and um, all the watery drinks. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like a swimming pool. I like clean. I like clean it out, and guess what? I'm never going to guess what it is, so just tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. I put the whole farm in it, and the baby was so grossed out by the swimming pool because I never cleaned it out for days. Mm -hmm. I've been cleaning it a little while, but expired to my um, laziness. Oh, and... Yes? You want to know what I did to that baby? What's that? Um, I fed it even more green stuff, and I called the doctor, came in the dog's stomach, said he had dog-itis, dog stomach-itis. So the dog had dog stomach-itis, and the baby had revenge-itis. Yep. A lot of itis going around, huh? Yeah. Well, Molly, thanks for uh, the exciting thing you got. You, I, I, please, I hope you're okay in that dog's stomach. Yeah, it's kind of, um, it's kind of a mess in here. I sure hope I get out, and I sure hope the baby's parents won't kill me because the baby can talk. Okay. Like, okay. What does the baby say? Well, I'm out now, so the baby said. He said that little girl tortured me, and you're going to have to pay her back. That's really exciting. So I get revenge-itis. I'm so scared. you got to help me. I wish I could help you, Molly Molesworth, but I can't. Yep. You have a great Mar night. Yeah. You know where I am? Where? Mars. Mars! Okay. Yeah, i got a pretty good wire system going on. I thought you were in the dog's stomach. This is I'm all taking place on Mars. On, I'm in the dog's stomach on Mars. Wait, you've never been on Earth this whole time? Um, Earth to Tom, I've never been. I never mentioned Earth. You want to know what? That's a fair point. You never said you were from Earth. <laughs> yep. Wow. Those like aliens a, are pretty stupid. Yeah. It's like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, You ever seen yeah, those Mysteries of the Science Lab movies? I think it's what they're called. Mysteries of the Science Lab. 
Yeah, I think. It's a very popular franchise of uh, movies. Like It's like a, a little series of movies with some two robots and a guy, and it had some Look, star babies. Could, i got to say, good, I, this could go. There's no end to that. Look, I love nothing more than when Molly Molesworth calls, <laughs> but there's no end in sight. We ended up on Mars. He buried um, the lead. Yeah. Yeah, he did bury the lead. 